Hi, this is Amy and today I want to show you how to use appointment slots in Google Calendar. First of all, if you have your default view set to month like I do, you're not going to see this option. So when I click to make a calendar event, I only see event and task. So maybe you thought it wasn't available anymore or maybe it wasn't available for you. But if you use a Google Apps for Education domain, then it is available for you. And this is how you get it. First, you click on the week view in the top right, and then you navigate to the day for which you want to create the appointment slots. So I'll create some on Tuesday, October 8th. So I want my appointment slots to start at 8 a.m. and so I'll click on the 8 a.m. block there and then click on appointment slots. Now if you haven't used them before in this the calendar you're in, I use them all the time but not in this particular calendar, then you'll get a little notification. I'll go ahead and click get started with appointment slots. Now the really cool thing about this is that your calendar's appointment page is always the same no matter how many appointment slots you create or for what purposes you create them. So I'm going to create some appointment slots for the purpose of uh, meeting with teachers so I'll call them teacher meeting and then I'm going to have my appointment slots go from 8 o'clock to 11 o'clock for three hours. I'll do those every 30 minutes and I want to repeat those um, Thursday and Friday so I want to end really after just two occurrences. So I'll go ahead and um, grab this link before I even save because this is going to be really important to me. And I'll go ahead now and save the appointment slots. So you can see there they are on my calendar. If I decide, you know what, I really can't start until 9, I can just take my appointment slots and move them down until 9. But now let's go take a look at how it looks when we send other people that link. So I'm going to use my hot dogs up here in the top right, and I'm going to get a new incognito window, and we'll take a look at how this is going to look to other people when we send them that link. So I'm just going to paste that long link into this blanket the top and hit enter. Now I'm signed in to another account and these blue events are the events that I see on the calendar for that separate account. These are the meeting slots that I see available to me. So if I want to book a meeting I can this is how it looks remember to the recipient so I can just click on a slot and then it's going to automatically add my name in parentheses and if I want to choose the location I can type that in there and I'll go ahead and click save now that slot is going to go away for other people they're no longer going to see that but let's go back and take a look at how it looks to the calendar owner now so now we're viewing this calendar as the owner again and if I click you can see the meeting that we just made through our recipient account. So let's talk for just a minute about how to send these events out to other people. So this is how I've been doing it. I've just been sending them to my recipients, whoever those recipients are, right through an email. So down here in the body of the email, I just say, you know, please book an appointment with me using my appointment slots. And then I just either paste that long link in there, or if that's too ugly for you, you can go ahead and type in something like click here to see the appointment slots. And then we can just hyperlink that text like that. So then when they click on that link, it'll take them to this long link right up here. And remember, you can book as many sets of appointment slots as you want. That link will always be the same and people will always be able to book you. So if you want to set office hours and have people come and visit you during those times, you can do that. Uh, as far as I know, appointment slots are only available through Google Apps for Education and and Google Apps for Work. Just had to confirm that for a second, but yes, I'm using a Google Apps for Work calendar here. So if you're just using a Gmail account, I don't think you'll see these options, but uh, if your company or your school has a, G a Google account, then you will see this, and it's super, super convenient for people to book appointments with you. Hope that helps, and have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.